Hey, it's me, Hannah. We are breaking out the Halloween decorations today and I thought I would take you along with me. I have been dying to... <laughs> I've been really hoping to try out the chicken wire ghost trend that I first saw from Rachel Maxey like two or three years ago. And I finally convinced darling husband that they won't look like literal trash. So here's to hoping that they don't look like literal trash. Inspired by the other chicken wire ghosts that I've seen online, I think I will go ahead and stick with like the classic old timey ghostly figures. We'll call them historically inspired. The scene I'm trying to create in my front yard is sort of the entrance to a ghostly Victorian ball where two ghoulish lovers have stolen away into the night to escape the crowd just to dance outside. That's really just a little alone time, get to know each other on a just more personal basis. Not, I really, they're not going to be like doing anything inappropriate in my front yard. That's, that's not this year's theme. I want at least one of the ghosts to be in a Victorian ball gown, nice and flowy, maybe some puff sleeve action. And I want to put another ghost in more of a tuxedo with a, a top hat if I can manage it. <laughs> I have very little experience sculpting in any medium, much less chicken wire. But the plan here is to create a bunch of tubes of various sizes and then shape those tubes into a body. There's very little plan here. But I'm going to start by using my mannequin to help me shape the torso. I've already bought the chicken wire, so let's make some ghosts. Uh, let's sculpt some ghostly figures. So right off the bat, these holes are way bigger than I intended. It's hard to tell when they're on the shelf. Um, but I think it'll still work. I am going to persevere and we'll see how it goes. My new mantra. Start with knowing how much I need. I probably could have measured that. God forbid I treat this like a sewing project. Oh God, go away. <sighs> You're doing great, sweaty. Oh. I'm gonna cut this and make it more manageable. Aha, that. That's better, that's easier. So like I said, I'm just making a tube. I left myself a little extra here to like handle the crossover. Oh God, please be big enough for the hips. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. What are you worried about? So I did go ahead and get the smaller hexagonal chicken wire and it seemed to just be a lot more structurally sound and honestly just worked a lot better. It was a lot easier to manipulate.
Shit is dangerous. When I walked outside this morning, I found myself not very pleased with how this is coming along. I do think that the torso and the arms are fine, but it's really just the skirt and like attempting to capture movement in this medium that I've never used before. I think I'm gonna give the skirt another go and see if we can't clean this up a little bit. It is unfortunately starting to look like trash. And that was my only goal, don't look like trash. So I'm going to kick this morning off with attempting to redo the skirt. I'm going to watch a few more videos and just see if I can't get any additional inspiration on that front. We will see. We will see. Okay, I've made some progress. Obviously, right off the bat, you can tell that she's significantly taller now. Um, I went ahead and added an extra, like, full column underneath um, to bring her up and I think that not only is like the height a little more like ominous and a little more impactful I also feel that structurally she's a lot more sound. I did go ahead and use the bigger hexagonal the like two inch hexagonal chicken wire to add to the skirt and add some more volume there and I uh, obviously added a sleeve to the arm and am now in the process of adding the other arm to which I will attach the rest of the skirt to kind of bring up that like holding your skirt and dancing with a partner movement. And then lastly, I did add um, like shoulders and a neck uh, to which I intend to attach a head, which we'll get to here shortly. I think it's coming together. I think, I think this is gonna work. I feel good about this. Should we sculpt the head? Riveting conversationalist. I'm just gonna use this chicken wire that I messed up on. One of my first iterations of this sculpture. That was attempt number three. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little bit of a perfectionist, but again, our biggest concern here was making sure it didn't look like trash. And while I think We've done an okay job so far. I can still mess this up. It's gotten so warm today. What happened to fall? I want to make sure that I'm sculpting around 
this form rather than like pushing into it. Does that make sense? Like getting too tight on it and kind of losing some of the features. But it is really pokey. I don't know if I've said it before, but I am trying to be careful to cut to make sure that I have this piece to fold over and like make a hook. Um, it's just so far has been the easiest way to do it rather than trying to... I actually don't know what the alternative is, so I'm sure you get it. Whew, it's like the perfect size. Yeah, it's close. I'm so pleased with how that turned out. Obviously, I wasn't able to finish up the second ghostly figure in time for this video, but I was actually gifted a whole spool of chicken wire by my neighbor who was walking by when I was putting up the first ghostly figure out front. So now I definitely have enough supplies in order to make our 
dapper dancing partner. So feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'm definitely gonna post like final results and all of that. I was really worried about how it was going to look at night versus during the day, but I ended up so pleased with the way that the black light up lighting cast the perfect glow on the white spray paint. I'm considering going back and adding a brown or green spray paint to the column under the skirt. I think it would make the outer layer a little bit more impactful and keep the figure a little more ghostly. I'm also considering doing the same with the arms underneath the puff sleeves. Jury's still out on how we feel about the puff sleeves. Don't know if I will keep them, but if I do keep them, I plan to spray paint the arms underneath the sort of inner tube, darken that so that the balloon sleeves kind of pop a little bit more. Let me know what you think about the sleeves, drop a comment. I still don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm also so glad that I took my time and, and tried this three different times before I was happy with the product. Clearly in try number one, the hexagons in the chicken wire were too wide, too much space, and not as structurally sound. Try number two, she was too short and she had quite a lean on her. But try number three, I'm so happy with. I feel uh, ghostly and ghoulish and glad to have put the work in. <laughs> Let's I like genuinely had a lot of fun putting this together. It was a lot of learning, but I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot about sculpting the human form, the ghostly form, but it, it genuinely was a lot of fun. And if you had as much fun as I did, it would mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe. And if you do, I'll see you in two weeks from our next video. Take care.